Hello, everybody. Welcome back to our energy forecast here for April Energies aired live from Transcodes. Well, my name is Yona Brindis, and I'm going to be your energy forecaster here. As most of you know, this is not a crystal ball, astrological, or any kind of channeling. This is based on data collected in Transcodes through energetically sensitives and empaths just like you. All right, so it's the end of March, and uh, we can all feel this. Uh, this month has uh, brought a lot of uh, agitation, conflict here to the collective, and we are still sort of in the red zone here with the energy barometers for, for these uh, beginning uh, days of April. Um, yes, there is a lot of conflict, a lot of crisis brewing right now, and this is a little bit of the challenge here for all of us empaths and not to get caught up by the struggles that we feel within, but also by the suffering that we see in the world that we uh, see others go through. So uh, one of the issues that I have been pointing out here in the energy updates is that uh, we need to be careful with what we absorb with uh, our inner stance, our ability to consolidate ourselves and manage our energy. And this will be the big theme here for April 2018. It's like getting a second chance, okay? And for that, we need to understand how managing our energies works because there will be so many occasions where we have to be flexible where we need to adapt where we need to make corrections but also where there's great opportunities for us if we can stay within this place of inner and outer peace so many of you have seen this article that i have uh, recommended a couple of days ago resolving inner and outer conflicts um, i'll post a link here with this energy forecast for you but the main energetic processes that are going on have to do with refinement and maturing healthy growth, as I called this last week, you know, to accept that there is um, a, a, a seeding period, and then there is a nurturing period, a watering period, and then there is a, is a just a, a growing period, and that is the one uh, that we are having ahead of us here. So at this very moment, you have the chance to put out new seeds, to embrace the new paradigm that is coming in here through this collective evolution, okay? And in order to enjoy the, the beauty and, um, and really tune into the abundance that comes with uh, divine creation, it is very important for you to understand that times such as right now that feel a little bit like stagnation, that this is not anything that needs to um, put you into the place of frustration. It's just something that you need to accept and, and use for further integration. So don't let the outer conflicts um, influence your inner peace. What is coming ahead of us here is massive. And uh, this is a, a reprogramming through the source, as I called it in the energetic adjustment session, is something that most of you uh, don't really understand how big that is. What is happening here in this whole entire year, this uh, uh, transformation into new paradigms on all levels of existence, of 3D existence, requires us to be there and to show up in the physical. It requires us to come in with the inner peace and the inner balance of masculine and feminine energies and then knowing how we can tap into our creativity that can provide for us, even in the face of, like, say, financial loss or loss of a relationship. This creativity, this is inspiration that comes through divine creation is what allows us to adapt, is what allows us to come up with better solutions, with higher vibratory resolutions, as I call them. But you got to learn how to tune into this so that you don't fall for the struggle and the, the conflicting um, and polarizing energies that are around you. So this month, we're going to have to specifically look at energetic stress. Where does it come from and what does it do to me? Because these these uh, renewal energies bring in a lot of 
um, fight, flight, or freeze response. They bring in a lot of ego responses, and this is uh, basically our main task here to become better energy managers and move towards self mastery. Self mastery is what can give us peace, guys, and that's why um, you know we we talk so much here, myself and fellow energy workers, about learning these tools. You know, learn about your energy centers, learn how your ego responds to outer and inner stress and learn how to reprogram yourself if you haven't done so then take advantage of the free energy coaching lessons that jeff and i have produced here on on youtube they're free and you can learn a lot about the dynamics about things and if you want to um you know d deepen your inner experience then I can only recommend to, to check out these, these energy sessions that we do here almost every day uh, for people to have their own inner experience of all these uh, uh, things that, that um, you know, the, the spiritual uh, people talk about. Namely, what does that mean to, to feel forgiveness? What does it mean to feel inner calm? How can I help myself to go into uh, s s peaceful states how can i transcend some of the ego stuff that comes in some of my addictions and so forth without judging myself so guys the ego is not your adversary it's not your enemy the ego will always be there it's there for your survival but you got to find ways how to connect with it and transcend it so it's not driving your bus and this is what we call spiritual and emotional maturing, all right? So it is not to go into struggle or to go into counter position with something. It is about learning how to work with it, how to manage it. And this is where you'll find self-mastery. It is, a, granted, it, it is not an easy process. You're going to have to face some of your inner truths and some of your inner fears. And this isn't always easy. That's why we recommend to work with a guide or with a mentor or even with a group that is like-minded, that is mindful and that, that does not externalize their inner powers. Because this part of, of trusting in yourself can only, can only be be uh, uh, learned through what you can do, what you can do to help yourself, what you can do to change from within. So it will lead to, uh, to us an understanding or getting another uh, different understanding of our manifestation powers and not constantly feel, feeling like, uh, uh, you know, we want to be up there with peace and love and happiness and we constantly find, out, find ourselves in this uh the struggle this daily struggle so it's not just about you know mentally understanding all these spiritual concepts but to really show up with all that you have with your physical your emotional your mental your spiritual and your energetic knowingness and connectedness so the main process is here for the the um month of of april are going to be how to execute, how to uh, really tune into self-love and self-nurturing for the healthy growth, how to find inner peace and how to learn to trust in your inner power. And a lot of that will have to do with discernment, discerning um, the things that you can control from the things that you cannot control and to surrender those, you know, to really surrender those. It's a waste of energy. Um, to to worry about the things that you cannot control and this will then lead you into a state of, of um, deeper inner connection and self-mastery um, as from my perspective here as energy coach which uh, you know always emphasizes the practical aspects the questions that you will need yourself uh, that you will need to ask yourself um, this month um, is how is this helping right now, especially when you get yourself uh, caught up in that critical inner voice and that mental looping. And then the next question is, what can I do right now to move towards my goal and to have less stress and to feel more supported? And sometimes this means that we have to let go of, of things that um, provided us with some illusionary security or, or people even sometimes that we thought were um, 
mentors or that we thought were were uh, friends that support us and when we find out that they really aren't that they really just go in for their own benefit okay this is something that uh, you'll have to go through here in April um, to navigate through this you know spiritualism um, has really no meaning until we begin to apply it into our practical lives and this is very very important to understand because all these fancy energy work techniques they mean nothing they mean nothing if our 3D life or the, 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 the energetic state that we are in in our 3D, li 3D life does not match up with our goals, with our manifestations. And this is uh, uh, why I stress the self-mastery so much and the energy management. Um, the tips that I can give you for this month here are uh, very clear. Focus on healthy growth. This uh, includes your your physicality. We're starting out the month with a, a, a three-day reboot detox. Um, stay tuned here with uh, uh, Transcults. I just sent out the instructions, but we're going to do this together, and you can actually communicate with us and other people who are doing this as well in this time. Understand what maturing and what uh, learning from experiences and the appreciation of all your learning experiences experiences truly means be open but but try to not fall for fan fanatism okay this is uh, something that's coming in from the outside a lot right now there's a lot of uh, uh, you know uh, non integrous uh, and and, co and and corruption related things going on collusion and so forth and when when and this happens then governments or corporations or um, and people go into this power struggle and then they use techniques that polarize people to distract them from seeing the truth. All right, don't let this happen to you. Don't get caught up in, in polarizations. Refrain from extremes, you know, um, uh, either, you know, uh, uh, feeling the need to rebel against something or uh, feeling the need to conform. Don't do either one of them, you know. Try to find the middle ground in your inner truth, all right? And catch inner and outer conflicts uh, and contradictions that usually that come in uh, through your thoughts, through your, your, your recurring um, mental loops, you know, and uh, the inner critic, okay, try to catch this, acknowledge it and agree to disagree, okay, say, okay, I hear your concerns, you know, it's okay, I, I can see how this looks like from your perspective, but I need to feel this out a bit more. I need to feel, you know, what is truly good for me and what isn't. Be flexible also, especially in the physical, there's going to be um, people uh, having or uh, will have uh, issues with their skeletal, with their mobility apparatus, with back pain, spinal pain, neck pain, and so forth. So chiropractors are going to have a field day all uh, April, you know, but also be flexible in, in your expectations and in, in how you approach things. Catch unrealistic expectations. Remember, this is a second chance. This is about refinement and correction, course correction. So try to really, you know, uh, use this time to, to, to make a growth plan for your life, for your journey. There is, uh, astrologically, there is a little bit of a, of a larger cycle here um, uh, coming to an end uh, that started 1988. So those of you here who've been around for this long, you know, go check with yourself. This is your second chance now to, to really resolve all these aspects that you weren't able to resolve, especially in regards to um, family aspects and karmic aspects, all right? Stay true to your values and um, to your own integrity. No one and nobody has the right to violate that or to, you know, to to um, uh, impede on on your boundaries. Okay, um, focus on on what you can control and let go of the things or surrender the things that you cannot go that you cannot control. And uh, once more, find support in a mentor or in a group. Um, you know, learn. Um, how you can manage energies better and I mean this also in in the very practical not just in the spiritual energy meaning of uh, energy management you know also look at you know maybe things such as your carbon 
footprint, you know, and where can you be more energy conserving in your daily lives? You know, do you really need your air condition to be uh, that low or do you really need uh, uh, certain things in your life that that, uh, you know, add to the overall sort of energetic stress? Uh, in, in, in regards to like, say, uh, electricity usage or fuel usage, right? This will be a very good month to, um, you know, to, to, to get rid of things that you really don't need, okay? Uh, remember the question, does this really help right now? This is your core question for the month. And, you know, remember that, it, that for the growing process, uh, you need the simple things in life and that's water, that sunlight, that's good soil in uh, transposed to, to our physical body. It's, it's, it's good nutrients through fruit and breathing and air. Okay? These are the elements that you want to work with in April. And if you would like to, uh, you know, be accompanied here with people that um, can help you, uh, that can guide you, you know, find, to find your own self-healing path, then maybe check out uh, the Sacred Self-Healing course that we have. We also have a personalized energy training program uh, that starts at the beginning of each month. We have two spots left for our 90 days uh, Hard Warrior uh, boot camp coming up on 1st of April. And uh, before I let you go, thank you for tuning in. I'm going to go through the um, calendar here, the transmission calendar. Those are the, the public energy sessions that we have here at Transcodes with you real quick. I want to explain to you why uh, we do certain things at certain times. Um, we start this week here after Easter with uh, intense uh, uh, etheric surgery and, and and personal clearing sessions so we're going to be quite busy um uh, the first week and have uh, this uh, three-day reboot detox starting on the 4th of april so if you want to join us uh, stay tuned sign up for the newsletter you'll get all the info on friday we're going to do the inner child integration session which allows you to learn an energetic process how you can connect and reconcile with your inner child aspects a little better it's a very very beautiful process very transformative for people um, on uh, saturday the 7th of april we have our remote um, prayers healing session that's a public healing session for anybody in energetic uh, distress in need of uh, support um, at 9 a.m and then in the afternoon we have our monthly heart warrior online meeting uh, on the 10th, on Tuesday during the day, we have a free workshop for all our Sacred Self Healing members, namely uh, how to conquer a negative uh, inner and outer communication. Very, very cool workshop. I'm looking forward to that, guys. And then on Wednesday, the 11th, we're going to have the uh, uh, connecting with uh, divine masculine and feminine energies, also a guided energy process. And um, as uh, with all the transmissions, we are accompanying you remotely and we share a report and we share our observations in your personal energy field right after the session. Then a uh, big weekend is coming up from the 13th to the 15th April, namely our etheric navigation in intensive. So for all of you who want to learn how to do uh, this deeper energetic navigating, also how to, um, you know, do astro traveling in a, in, a, in a safe way. We don't necessarily recommend astral traveling and, and out of body experiences, but if you really think you need to do this, we're going to teach you lots of etheric protection techniques here. This is um, highly educational and maybe not something for beginners, but um, check it out. Um, we also have the uh, uh, step 18, um, uh, letting go, uh, sacred self-healing meeting on Saturday then, and uh, followed by the next week where we then go into uh, karmic uh, family clearing on the 18th and also uh, followed by the free true self connecting with your true self session on the 20th so those of you who want to adjust then to may energies that are starting to come in can join the energetic adjustment session on the 21st um, with the theme liberation um, it's very, very cool energies coming in in May. And as most of you know, this is a session that goes really, really deep into uh, DNA adjustment and mitochondrial clearing. 
Um, also on the, this Saturday we have uh, the Sacred Self Healing Meet for uh, Step 20, which is uh, Higher Perception. And I'm looking up there because my cat is uh, jumping around here and wants to be part of this uh, recording. On the 24th of April we have a wonderful event coming up for all the uh, trans coach trainees. Those are people who uh, train with us how to become an energy healer. We're going to do the level two certification on April the 24th. And then on April the 25th, we do the Grace Trauma Clearing, a wonderful um, trauma integration process, uh, bypassing of physical, emotional, mental blocks. So for those of you who have deep trauma and who've already tried a lot of things such as therapy and so forth, uh, th this may be something you want to check out. And then uh, we closed a month with our Sacred Heart Transmission Marathon. That's a 72 hour, three days straight um, aligning to specific uh, frequencies. And this one is the Sacred Heart Space, your inner center of centers, a wonderful um, uh, transmission modality that I'm also looking forward to. And the last uh, event here at Transcodes in April will be on April 30th, namely the uh, Sacred Self Healing Current Energies uh, discussion for the incoming May energies. So thank you very much guys for tuning in, for watching this video. I hope to see you in any of our free or uh, uh, energy training sessions here at Transcodes. Once more, my name is Jona Brindis. I'm an energy healer, energy trainer and uh, public uh, um, speaker. And I wish you a wonderful April. And if you're listening to this here on the day that I published this video, then happy Easter to you and your family. Thank you very much.